What's up guys? Welcome to a secret special Supercars of London video at McDonald's. day and I've arrived here at DLB Designs and um, they are so new that they haven't got the signage yet. The signage arrives on Thursday so uh, there's no signs where we are which looks quite uh, inconspicuous. However the car's inside, it's getting prepped and um, then it's going to get cleaned, masked up, the whole process is going to be filmed. Hopefully I'm going to be able to give you a really good overview of what the car looks like, um, all of the details and how perfect uh, the liquid dip comes out. So uh, let's head inside and check out the car. It's out, lovely day, and um, I can't believe that I'm in a Parata della Strada t-shirt. I haven't been in one in ages, and I decided that today, um, for this special surprise video, I thought I'd wear it, and I wear the cap as well. I'm really excited about the spec that I've gone for. This is um, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I didn't know whether I was going to get the chance to do it on my car, or whether it was going to happen on the second supercar, um, but now that I'm doing it on my first supercar, the Audi R8, it's um, definitely putting a spanner in the works on what I'm going to do for my second supercar, depending on what car it is. So as you can see behind me in the unit, the masking tape is going on and i um, just been speaking to the guy at Cardip UK who's come down from Manchester. He left at three o'clock this morning to get here and he was, a he was here around half past nine, ten o'clock and he's just getting cracking on the car now as well. So there's two guys working on the car and I just seem like I'm continuously getting less, having less clothes on. So I apologise if it looks like I'm undressing on camera. Um, what I said previously that the car was going to go matte black first as the base coat it's not going to happen anymore because the car in silver is already like in a, in a pretty good state apparently for the Nardo grey to come out and I'm not sure whether I've just mentioned the spec or but yeah I think I have. Nardo grey so it's going to be going on straight away and uh, we're just umming and ahhing about where the lime green Verda Ithaca details are going to go and um, Overall, I'm really, really excited. The masking tape and the, 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 the wash and making sure that the car is completely ready um, for the liquid dip is obviously the most important bit to make sure that the final finish is perfect. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a long day. So, bit of an update, I've got my hoodie on. Inside, we have been here for around seven to eight hours now, and the car is finally getting towards 95 to 98% ready um, until the, the paint application can start, the liquid spray can begin, and I'm really looking forward to to seeing it, I've never, I've never actually seen it before. It looks like the car's going in for a full respray, and I think that's the, what it's going to look like as well when they actually start spraying the liquid dip onto the car as well. And it's just, it really hones in on the fact that how much preparation goes in and the right preparation as well that goes into this to make sure that the car is looking absolutely insane. It's completely masked and um, bagged up, which I'll show you in a little bit, to um, make sure that the wheel arches don't go the same colour, that everything that is supposed to be OEM colour is, and then every other bit that I want to go Nardo Grey is going Nardo Grey. So let's have a quick walk around of what's going on in the uh, spray booth, that probably is the right way of saying it. Um, yeah, let's just go. <laughs>
side booth. Time for an update on my wrap, or more my dominoes. Um, anyway, time is half past nine. There's been five coats gone on to my car, which is gloss Nardo grey. There's two more to go on, which takes 20 minutes. And then there is the final satin protection clear film, which sits over the car, cures onto the, sat the, the Nardo grey, and will make it into the satin Nardo grey. Then we've got to do the wheels and the calipers and the green accents. Another Domino's update, two more have arrived. So I don't think I've done a 24 hour vlog before, but I started this vlog at around seven. I think it was around seven that I started it. 10 to five. Yes. So, I mean, credit to the guys who have been absolutely smashing it. Um, the preparation, took seven hours. The um, actual paint, there was about six or seven layers that went on and then there was the satin protection layer that went on after that. Um, then it was a case of getting the wheels back on the car so that the car could go back out. So then the wheels could go back into the spray booth so that they could get sprayed black. And I think it's just the intricate design that I've decided to do with all of the lime green accents, the black wheels, the calipers, and then the rear tail lights and all of the stuff that you're going to see at the final product that you've already seen. But I just wanted to make this vlog so that you guys saw how much effort goes into this to make sure that the, um, the liquid dip is absolutely perfect.
Ladies and gentlemen, the time is half past seven and I'm driving home with an incomplete car. So it's taken 24 hours and no sleep. And I'm driving home now. Bearing in mind right now, not a single person knows about this. And I'm driving back in rush hour down the M1 into central London. If I get seen, then that's gonna be the surprise over, which I'm not looking forward to. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and seen it already as the wrap, and I hope you guys like it as well, because it is different and unique as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and um, huge, huge thanks to DLB Designs and uh, Car Dip UK. Oh, Jesus. 24 hours sleep and you sort of forget everything but yeah I'm coming up to a junction now massive thanks like I said to those two guys there's going to be loads and loads of posts everything going on in Monaco as well so whoa the sun I look forward to seeing you very very soon guys cheers bye bye